So let's talk about the children of Pontus. In a previous video of mine, I mentioned that Pontus was a child of Gaia. He was the primordial elder entity of the oceans. Even though Gaia officially ends up becoming the wife of Oranos, the sky god, she and Pontus did end up having five children. The eldest of the five is called Nereus, I'm sorry for butchering the name, but he is also known as the old man of the sea. He and Doris, a daughter of Oceanus and Tethys, end up having about 50 or so nymphs and minor gods. Second on the list is Thaumas, who eventually marries Electra, another daughter of Oceanus and Tethys. Together they have the rainbow goddess Iris and the Harpies. The third and fourth child are called Forcus and Keto, and they eventually end up getting married. Their children are described as monstrous, and, I mean, the Gorgons, the Sirens, the Grey Sisters, Thusa, who eventually becomes the mother of Polyphemus, just ask Odysseus, and the Echidna, the mother of monsters. Depending on the source, they were also the parents of the Hesperides. On the list is Eurybia, the goddess of mastery over the seas. Eventually gets married to one of the twelve titans, Creus. Together they have three kids, Astraeus, Persis, and Pallas. It really does deserve a video of her own. It's her grandchildren that are the very recognizable names, including Nyking, Sephiroth, Boreas, and even Hecate, the goddess of magic. Please like this video and comment which god or goddess do you want to hear about next. Bye-bye.